Prime Minister, can I ask you what your country's uh, role here in the WEF is? So, uh, to exchange, to learn, to work, to build contacts and to continue contacts and instead of speaking about each other, to speak to each other. Do you think it's okay, it's right that the, that you know Luxembourg has any input and say in policy, for example, that affects Australians or the UK? Why should you have a say in that? I have nothing to uh, as input in politics. Every country is free to decide what they what they feel. I think here it's uh, as I told you before, a place to exchange, to learn from each other. This is, I think, uh, Sanjol is still believes that this here is an uh, international power, which it's, it's not. This is just a place to exchange, to learn from each other, and uh, to, to, to learn from the experience from the one or for the other. You, so you're denying, <laughs> you're denying that here they, that, that, that there is a consolidation of power, that this is where some of the richest and powerful, most powerful people on the planet come to devise policy. This is where the policy starts, the Great Reset. The Those are decided in national parliaments and not in Davos. They all seem to come here and be, start off as young global leaders here in the WEF. What do they all have in common? I, I don't consider myself as a young leader or not. I'm Prime Minister of, uh, of an elected uh, government in my country, like uh, the other colleagues, and we exchange here. It's important. We have uh, several meetings a year. We have once the UN General Assembly, where we are able to just... Sorry, is he annoying you? Is he uh, annoying you? No, it's still okay. Okay, because this is Nasdaly. He's a brother. Nasdaly. This yeah. guy's annoying. <laughs> Be careful of this guy. He's annoying. I was a lawyer before, if you need what, some help. Wait, wait. He what, 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 what law? Okay, what law? Good, right? Nas might need criminal help. Nas, 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 come here. Two questions. I'm come good, I'm good. Wait, 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 wait. Bro, I know you at this point. Hold on, hold on, you see. I know you at this point. Hold on, Nas, Nas. And Nas, you said I was dangerous to my followers. But you, you pushed your followers bro. to support FTX. Bro, 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 FTX. aren't you the dangerous guy? You're very dangerous. Yo, I like you guys, man. I like your followers. Listen, listen. I like your followers. Listen, but... Bro, I saved that guy from you. Uh, that's good of you, but listen, I why? saved him from you. Are you getting paid this time? You said last time you weren't getting paid. Nasaya, I said it right. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that. They protect each other. Nasaya, who convinced millions of his followers to invest in FTX, who claimed that I was a threat to my followers, but he encouraged his followers to buy FTX. Last time he said he wasn't paid to be here in the WEF. This time he has been brought here as a part of the uh, Emirates delegation, the UAE delegation. And he's interrupted my interview with the Prime Minister of Luxembourg to protect his friend, who happens to apparently be a lawyer, from answering the tough questions. But we'll be here all week holding the hypocrites and the powerful accountable for their lives. WEFreports.com, bookmark the page. And if you like what we're doing here, chuck in a few bucks to make it possible. WEFreports.com.